And they have to get to the three for a first down. Jackson batted down at the line. Quinton Williams was applying pressure up the middle, and it's fourth down and three. Your leaders, your guys like Amari Cooper and Nick Chubb, they fit well. Third and 18, here come the Jets. Brissett is crunched. The absolute last thing that they wanted for the Browns. Yeah, watch Carl Lawson. He's healthy now, coming off the edge. Just straight bull rushing through, getting help from his teammates, getting a nickel package here for New York. Burrow is sacked inside the five. Williams and Rankins get home. But in this case, it's the interior guys that create the pressure. Sheldon Rankins, 98. Quinnen Williams, 95. Thank you. And they just took one-on-one -on -one and defeated their blockers. Watch Claypool on the out versus off coverage to the right. Trubisky. Stepping up, going to run for it, and he's brought down at the 45-yard line. That's about three yards shy of a first down. When all is said and done, incomplete pass. Third and eight. Trubisky looking left, under pressure. Penalty markers thrown as he goes down. Well, what a good job right here of setting up this game. They get the center to turn to the right side, and then just that penetration inside by Lawson. That opens it up for Quinn and Williams. Blue 18, blue. Uh, Najee Harris once again. This one isn't going far at all. John Franklin Myers with the stop. And Thompson is 11 to 19. Moving up nicely. Grabbed by Franklin Myers and finished off by Quinn and Williams. It's a sack, the first by the Jets. Simpson tried signaling with his hand to get the ball going. Cost him five yards. First and 15. Good block by Gesicki, but they get one oh, from him. Oh, the ball and oh, picked up by Quinnen Williams, the big man to the five. It's the Dolphins' first loss fumble all season. Knocking it free. Carl Lawson and Quinnen Williams in there. And then the big man went, and Hall tried to bring him down. Finally hit at the five. Tyreek trying to make a tackle on Quinn and Williams. And Matt told us, you know, it's, it stinks because I always root for him. Today's going to be hard. Here are the Packers. Aaron Jones is swarmed in the backfield by Quinn and Williams, who's off to a Pro Bowl-type start this year. Second and 15 on the fake. Pressure coming. Rodgers hit. Ball is loose. Sitting on the ground. It's recovered by Aaron Jones. Dylan. Cuts back, and that's not going to get it. Maybe a yard. Quinn and Williams, who's had a nice first half, is on the stop. High snap. Put down, and it's blocked. I think Quinn and Williams got that one, too. <laughs> if so, he's been everywhere the first half of this game. This front, take a look in here. I think it might have been 72, Michael Clemens. No, it was Quinn. It was Quinn and Williams. You called it. Both those guys' hands were up. I think Williams' hand there in that green glove. Yep. <laughs> I mean, this guy has been all over the place, rushing the passer, stopping the run. Robert Sala told us, I'm not putting him in this world, but he sees the game like Richard Sherman. About as high praise as you can get. Rodgers in trouble again, and he's sacked again by Quinn and Williams. What a beast. Number 95 for the Jets. Well, it feels like we've said it about three times, but in this game, he's been unblockable. He's Eight of them you mentioned, five on offense, felt like that stalled things. It's a throw, Wobbler, incomplete, trying to hit Cherry Judy on first down. He'll be the check down and possibly the swing guy. It is Stevenson, and he gets swallowed up. Mac Jones, he's dumped at the 31.
the way that those plays, the, the plays that they didn't make and the errors that they committed, put them in a position that they couldn't get into a spot to make it uncomfortable for New England. Third and six, Stevenson is tackled quickly by Quinnen Williams and Michael Carter the second. Buffalo opens up after the return by Hines. Singletary in the backfield, they give it to him. Singletary could not break free from that initial wave. Quinn and Williams. Josh Allen feels like he hasn't had the football in three hours. And Allen is forced to eat it. The Jets get to the quarterback. Quinn and Williams having a Pro Bowl season. They're trying to get in scoring position once again. Second down eight. Good block by Trent Brown, but Trent... The other side, they come, and up the middle, it's Quincy Quinton Williams out to the 44th, third and one. Stevens always drilled. What a great defensive play. Once again, terrific game. Quinton Williams stuffs him. Third down and nine for Minnesota. Cousins. Protection holds up. A wobbler. Incomplete. Squeezing his hands, holding weight by your fingers. Fingertip push-ups. Catching tennis balls, golf balls. Right now, the Jets finally get shotgun. Cousins pocket collapsing. Cousins goes down. The Jets get to the quarterback with Williams. They put their defense under a lot of pressure in the second half. They need to help them out. Michael Carter is back in there in the slot. Alexander Madison coming in on that one. Oh, they're going to get him. And sack number one of the day. They got him for a second time. They sling him down. And like we talk about. Lawrence with his first pass of the night, but won't get it off. The ball is now out. Brad Allen is there to signal. They call it a fumble. Jacksonville thinks they've retained possession, but Allen says, no, it's the Jets ball. And that's Quinn and Williams. Fumble and the turnover. Yeah, and, and right here, Al, Tyler Shatley, the left guard, gets a bad responsibility. One-on-one -on, -one on third down against Quinn and Williams. There isn't a guard in the league that's going to win that battle, and it is good to see him back in the middle of this Jets defense. Healthy offseason, has taken his game to another level this year as an interior defender for this defense. That has been a problem for Trevor Lawrence. That's his eighth lost fumble. Three and a half remaining in the opening quarter. Little dump off here, and the ball is loose and incomplete.